Today we're going to be talking about a very important topic called deep venous thrombosis or simply DVT. The main symptom of DVT is your leg can become very swollen, red, sometimes very painful. Many patients think like, oh, maybe I hurt doing some sport or playing pickleball or playing tennis. And then the pain continues to get worse until the point that the leg gets swollen. At that point, you really need to look for a DVT. Not only DVT can cause pain and swelling in the legs, but these clots could travel to the lungs and cause something called a pulmonary emboli, which can be life-threatening. And that's why DVT is a medical emergency and should be taken seriously. So where does the swelling occur and why is that important? Most patients that only have pain is because only the small veins are affected and the big veins are not affected. If you develop swelling just below the knee in the calf, that means that the femoral vein and the popliteal vein are the ones affected by the clot and are blocked. If you develop swelling in the thigh as well on top of the calf, that means that the larger veins, the iliac veins, are probably affected as well. And this is very important because it can tell us how extensive this clot's gonna be. It can be diagnosed with a simple ultrasound that can be done in only a few minutes. You will not only see the clot, but you'll see that these veins are dilated, stiff, and you cannot compress them. And if you have a DVT, what do you do? Well, the first thing we do is to start blood thinners. And blood thinners are medications like Lovanox, Eloquiz, Zeralto, or Coumadin that will thin your blood and prevent new blood clots from forming. It's also well proven that patients that start on blood thinners are much less likely to develop the dreaded complication of pulmonary emboli. Although the blood thinners will prevent new clot from forming, you will still take a long time between your body will dissolve the clot that you have and potentially you could never dissolve and that clot could become scar tissue and damage the valves in your veins. And that's why, especially if the clot burden is significant, you may benefit from a procedure to remove those blood clots. And this is called a thrombectomy. And this is something that is done by interventional radiologists and one of my passions and something that I specialize on. In summary, if you think you have DVT, you should talk to your doctor or go to the ER or urgent care because this is a medical emergency and needs to be addressed right away. If it is confirmed you have a DVT, you should be treated with blood thinners for at least three months, but then you should see a vein specialist right away to see if thrombectomy is a good option for you.